This 1872 print by Courier and Ives shows the first seven black Americans elected to the United States Congress. All seven were Republicans. From the left side of the picture, we have Hiram Revels of Mississippi. As an ordained minister, Hiram served as a missionary and pastor, recruited three black regiments in the Union Army, and was a chaplain during the Civil War. Revels became America's first black United States Senator. Next is Benjamin Turner of Alabama. Turner was a slave during the Civil War, but within five years after the Civil War, Turner became a wealthy and prosperous businessman. Next is Robert DeLarge of South Carolina. DeLarge was born a slave, but within three years after the Civil War, DeLarge was serving in the State House. He also chaired the Republican Party's Platform Committee and became a statewide elected official. Next is Josiah Walls of Florida. Walls was a slave during the Civil War and was forced to fight for the Confederate Army. However, after he was captured by Union troops, he immediately enlisted as a Union soldier and even became an officer. After his election to the United States Congress, his credentials were challenged by the Democrats, and he was twice sent home. Walls was re-elected after the first challenge, but during the second challenge, the Democrats gained control of Florida and Walls was prevented from returning. Next is Jefferson Long of Georgia. Born as a slave, Long was self-educated and built a thriving business. However, when elected to the United States Congress as a Republican, the Democrats boycotted his business, causing him great financial losses. Long was the first black American to deliver a congressional speech in the House of the United States Congress. Next is Joseph Rainey of South Carolina. Born a slave, Rainey served briefly as Speaker of the United States House and was in Congress longer than any other black American from that era. Seventh is Robert Elliott, also of South Carolina. Elliott was well-educated, reading in Spanish, French, and Latin. In Congress, Elliott led to the passage of civil rights bills over the violent opposition of congressional Democrats, and he later became Speaker of the House in the state legislature. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the first black senator and representatives of the United States of America.